What's up, everybody? K Mega Fold Five coming to you live from the Fold Five, where I'm just your regular gamer talking to the intelligent gamers. If you're new to the channel, well, be so kind to hit that subscribe button, that like button, all of that. If you can hit the likes, you can share this out. It definitely would help with the channel. Definitely, 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 definitely appreciate it. All right, so let's just get into it. I don't want to be too long on it, but I do want to uh, update something. Now, we were talking about this on GRG last night, and, and it's been talked about everywhere, about the situation with Horizon Forbidden West and the issue with the pricing. Uh, it made people feel that it has a PlayStation 4 that's going to eventually upgrade to a PlayStation 5, feel like they were going to just get, feel like they were just getting ripped apart, right? Because they were going to have to pay an additional, uh, you know, $20 for the game and then not including DLC. It's been caused an uproar. And surprisingly, when I made this rant video uh, Friday as well, uh, I, I also, it was Thursday, I think. Well, I did a rant video, right? And I was just going off and just saying, look, if Sony is really willing, is, is wanting to make the decision of a person who's been a supporter of PlayStation for, since day one, almost 30 years, since they first came out with their PlayStation 1 and bought hundreds and hundreds of their games and all different types of peris peripherals. If this is their direction of where they wanna go, then I'm gonna be about done with, with the whole situation, right? Uh, I said that also on GRG last night, but um, it looks like from everybody that's been going out there, the community, this is the one thing about it, when the community, the gaming community is, when they get it right, when it's right. Um, is that there was a lot of people on PlayStation side because that's one thing that I was saying, look, we need these these content creators from the PlayStation side to call this out. Not only for people that is looked at as Xbox-centric podcasts or channels, we need everybody in the industry that can, that's, you know, the little guys pretty much and ladies to open their mouth and say something and just demand for change. You made this promise and now you backtracked and you just want to make it like, oh, it's all good. It's all right. Well, good news. Uh, the little guy has won this battle, but there's still so much more to go. Let me just go ahead and read this right here. It says um, players who have purchased Horizon Forbidden West on PlayStation 4 will be able to upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version for free. That is wonderful. That is a great win for just a consumer, you know, I, I mean, nobody wants to feel like they're getting railroad, especially when the CEO of PlayStation comes out and says, look, we're gonna offer, we have a path and we wanna offer this to you for free. Now, where does this lead us? This is where it's right here, it gets a little iffy. I wanna highlight this right here. It says, I also want to confirm today that moving forward, PlayStation's first party exclusive cross-gen titles, newly released on PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, both digital and physical, will offer a $10 digital upgrade option from play at PlayStation 4 to PlayStation 5. This would apply to the next God of War and Gran Turismo 7 and any other exclusive cross-gen PS4 and PS5 title published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. All right. So this is where the thing gets murky yet again. Um, it's a it's a minor victory about Forbidden West. There's no doubt about that. The community has spoken out about it, and they're definitely um, they're you know they did what they were supposed to do, and I'm and I'm pleased about that. There was one of the very few times that we had a uh, a unified uh, unity between PlayStation community, the Xbox community, and the Nintendo community. PC community that was just like, look, you guys, you gotta, we gotta do better. And you can't lie to the customer like that boldly and then expect to be rewarded for this misinformation. Um, there were a lot of people out there trying to defend this, but now uh, again, these people will do like they always do. They'll move the goalposts. The big question is going forward is that Sony has now put the dug their feet in the sand and said, look, you got us for this one, but you're not gonna get us for anything else. That leads to another question entirely. 
what are you going to do as a gamer? Are you going to be content with it? Because look, how I, I said this last night and I'm and I'm and I said, look, I, I get it. I expect gaming all across the board to go up. I just do. I think because of everything that goes into it, um, you know, gaming is is got movie budgets now, especially for the bigger AAA titles out there. So I you and, and we've been going through the sixty dollar you know games for years now. It's been it's been quite a while. So eventually, I feel like everybody is going to eventually have a seventy dollar price point. I think once the Xbox One and the PlayStation Four kind of goes away then i think that's when i think maybe xbox or whatever now i could be completely wrong i hope i'm wrong but i this is just my thought process on it the issue with this though overall going forward is what are gamers going to do with this information are they going to keep fighting are they going to submit and say well they did tell us that they're not going to change anything or is it going to be one of those things where Microsoft says, look, this is an opportunity for us to take advantage of this and keep our games at $60 or, you know, having the free upgrade, things like that. We will see. Uh, the smart delivery situation is definitely is definitely important for right now. But once that is over, once like games like Hellblade and Fable and those games come over and switched over to just automatically be on the Xbox Series S and X only, now we're starting to get we're going to start asking those questions is microsoft going to stay at that 60 dollars price range or are they going to bump it up to 70. we'll find out i don't know i i i'm i'm assuming eventually the games are going to go up microsoft's got enough paper to, to to not do it and we'll see sony's already dug their feet in the sand like i said so now we're going to see what's going to happen and what gamers are going to do about this because if you see the competition still coming out because nintendo even though nintendo hasn't announced anything new i don't see their games being 70 dollars. but again we're talking about nintendo nintendo has charged you 80 70 80 bucks for some cardboard so we don't know but nintendo at least lets you know up front what they're doing sony is now eventually telling you up front now that we're not changing anything we're keeping it like that and they're still going to recoup this money one way shape or form because with the horizon for bid west they are going to charge you for dlc even for the people who buy the 80 dollars version if you read the deluxe the deluxe edition there's nothing that says the dlc content and we know that this game is going to have some more content the last game did i believe god of war is going to have uh extra content and we're going to have to ask the question if uh the last of us 2's uh multiplayer is that going to be a free to play and you you know go through a battle system and you just pay money that way or are they going to charge you 70 dollars for that that it, it's still a, like i said it's a minor win it is a win but it's a minor win and if people are going to uh speak with their wallets then maybe people are going to have to start looking at playstation a little bit differently about how they're approaching the situation um, i feel if you pay 80 dollars for anything um because that's been kind of like the norm then usually you should get some form of DLC, um, at least the first year, the first season of, of, of some type of DLC. But if you charge, if you charge a hundred dollars, kind of like what Ubisoft has done, or like with Forza Horizon 3, then you get everything. If people buy a collector's item, I feel personally that everything that comes with everything that that game is going to have going forward should be included. But We've known people who buy collector's items. I mean, just I just you know know a couple of people like you know 108 and other people that's bought the collector's edition for Ghost of Tsushima, and they had to still you know if they want this new DLC, they're going to have to pay that twenty dollars for it. So it's 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 a really it's a slippery slope. Sony feels confident about it because of their IPs. I know that they have a big fan base, but. We've heard a lot of people complain about this. Will gamers still continue to ride this wave when it comes down to it uh, for people who still have a PlayStation 4? Because it is not easy to get a PlayStation 5 right now. 
And if you want to upgrade, you're still going to have to pay that $10. So which means you're still going to have to do what you were going to do with uh, Horizon Forbidden West is going to have some kind of pre-order uh, deluxe version to make sure that you are uh, cool with that game being transferred over and you paid that extra $10. So it's, I don't know, it's a little, little strange, but I'd like to hear your thoughts about it. Wanted to just get this thing, like, just want to let you guys know, I know this is going to be talked about uh, all until we find out what PlayStation is going to do for their event. Hey man, everybody out there, just have a good one. Thank you for uh, checking me out. I'm out. Peace.